the, what the state of California has done is for the first time, uh, there is a financial incentive for landowners to not cut down their trees. California has all kinds, shapes, and sizes of trees, but these guys are checking a different category. How much carbon dioxide can they store and for how long? What we're going to do is we're going to measure the carbon in the trees and calculate that over a hundred years. If these trees are raised right, their carbon storage can be purchased by companies to help them comply with California's cap-and-trade greenhouse gas emissions reduction program. A key part of the state's effort to reduce greenhouse gas emissions back to 1990 levels by 2020. Yeah. Um, the river channel it will be fairly obvious. Not really. This is a crew of carbon verifiers. They are probably the most visual part of a carefully calculated course of carbon cultivation. This site is on the Yurok Tribal Reservation in Northern California. They have to account for the amount of carbon that's in their forest. And that amount is then verified by third party accredited, ARB accredited verifiers. We review that information very thoroughly. We are out on site with the verification bodies. And credits don't come in until actual greenhouse gas sequestration or emission reductions occur. Well, this is different than that. It's not going to be harvested over the long term. We may do a little bit of stand improvement work in here and, and to improve the timber stand. But the immediate goal of this is for carbon credit production. Oh, it's a madrone. So old and gnarly and uh, twisted and leaning. So we're making sure that that we completely follow the uh, the measurement protocol because these these measurements are supposed to be repeatable. So this is exactly what it looks like: a team of people measuring the width of trees with tape measures and the height with lasers, and counting how many are in each plot. But this was one of the things they were brought up yesterday: what happens if trees grow into the plot? weren't big enough to make it the first time, but now they are. There's a lead verifier, and there's a, just a regular verifier, and then they work for a verification body, which is an entity. And because there's now a market, there are also investors and project developers. We provide project finance, development, and credit sales services for forest landowners that want to participate in the California carbon market. It's a beautiful watershed. This is the Yurok tribe's you know, ancestral homeland, and um, in part due to the carbon market, will be um, managed through a conservation approach and, and they are looking to transition the forest into an older growth forest with improved water quality, improved, improved wildlife habitat. Here's an opportunity to derive an income stream on your property by not cutting the tree down but to commit for a long period of time to keep those trees on the stump growing and sequestering carbon. And to me that is a wonderful win-win story.